All right, we're going to start by cutting these tomatoes just a little bit in an X on the flour end, and that's going to loosen up the skins when I put them in the boiling water. So what we're going to do is, it's already boiling, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the slotted spoon so it doesn't splash and hurt me. The skin is just starting to peel away on the tomatoes, so that's how I know that it's time to take them out. And these things have cooled, so what I'm going to do is, oh yeah, see these are really easy. Do, so I'm just going to cut it and take the hard piece out, just like that, just to make sure that we don't eat the stem. So I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil under the onions. With today's nonstick pans, if I don't have any oil, I don't even bother, but I had some, so I'm going to do that. You can hear it crackling in there. And we've got the onions and the garlic. And we're just going to pop those right in. A few traces of the cilantro from when I cut it. This isn't going to hurt anything. I'll try to not waste it. Until the onions are, are starting to get caramelized, which means it's just starting to get a little bit brown on the edges. They don't, you don't want them dry and brown the whole way through, but you can let them start to look pretty well cooked. Because again, you want them to cook plenty. You want the most flavor that you can get out of the onions, and um, eventually you're going to be blending them, so it doesn't really matter what they look like. All right. Time for tomatoes. Throw those right in there. Right. What I'm going to do is I turn down the uh, heat a little bit so that they can cook a little bit more slowly. And we're going to let them let them simmer for about 15 minutes with the cover on um, until they've gotten a lot softer. Alright, at this point we have added the chicken broth and I don't use the low sodium kind because I don't add any salt to the soup but you can use the low sodium kind. You can also use um, vegetable broth if you want to uh, do that instead of having a meat broth. I've also added the cilantro. You can see the little bits of green in there. They've, they've cooked down. And I've added the garam masala. Now, I love to use my immersion blender for this. You can also pour it into a regular bowl and use a uh, mixer if you want to do that. Or you could even use a food processor if you want to do that. But I'm just sticking it in here and, and making it smooth. So this is smooth. And see, you can see it's there's still seeds in there and stuff, but that's good. A nice little bit of texture in there. And it smells really good. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to cover it and we're going to let it cook down um, to the texture that you like, really. If you, if you leave it, um, you could serve it now and it would be fairly watery. If you let it cook down, um, I'd say for, again, for about 20 more minutes, um, that gets to a nice... It's just thick enough so that it's really comforting, um, but it's not thick like paste. Um.